a lot, a lot of organizations, like uh, a lot of the Veterans Administration, they send all their medications to the Postal Service, and uh, they they rely on us to get medication to their their uh, veterans, and also the elderly. We think would be affected, uh, but they're wanting to put. We're afraid that if it gets privatized, they will put centralized boxes, you know, and you have the elderly having to walk two blocks to their box instead of going to their actual house. And it, we think it would just negatively affect the, the American public. It's one of the reasons we're here is if the post office is privatized, it would affect small to medium-sized businesses, mostly to depend on e-commerce to uh, ship their products, daily pickups, uh, where if you was to uh, privatize it, some of the smaller companies we feel would be left out. Also, uh, the American consumer, uh, they do rely on their medication, their newspapers, their their bills. That there, there's a lot of people in rural communities that do not uh, receive email, and we think it would affect them. Also, it would be closing rural post offices where. Uh, you know, if it's more run more like a private organization, then they would have the uh, ability to close post offices that they don't feel would be profitable. And we feel that everybody deserves universal service.